Sometimes uh, you just don't see things happening in your orchid room and then other times you look and you're like, whoa, hey, there's a spike growing. And for me, that's pretty new because I haven't been doing orchids very long. So I wanted to show you a few of my orchids that are coming alive and starting to reproduce more flowers. Let me show you this first one that I have. It's a Dendrobium microchip. And you may recall that she failed me or I failed her last year and she was in um, the glass beads with water and I was trying to grow her roots. When I saw that a few of them were growing, I got her a little more stable with the Lekka beads and there's water down here and there's a basket that has holes in it. So you see we have that going on, but I was encouraged. I was watching Nicole. She has a channel. I'll link it down below for you to check out her channel. And she was sharing with us about her dendrobium uh, chocolate chip or microchip that is coming back into bloom. So I ran upstairs to see if mine might be. And look at that. She is, she is, she is. She has that little bit of flowers. So that's one spike that I see. No, here's another one. Look at that. A wee little one. I think I can. I think I can. I'll be so excited. Oh, there's a third one underneath. She was hiding. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't, you don't need my face. You just need the spike. How exciting that is going to be when these open up. They're yellow with little spots and they smell like cinnamon. Can't smell anything yet. She has some new shoots growing at the bottom here. And about every third day, I make sure to give about a tablespoon of water across the top of these Lekka balls to keep it, the hydration right around the roots where they're starting to grow down. I got one flower, one, one little one, not one cane or one sprig, but one flower <laughs> last year. So this, already is improvement. I did a video with four phalaenopsises that I had purchased, I believe, at Trader Joe's. And this one we called Many Blessings because she was into the home here that was about Thanksgiving time. So I was thinking thankful thoughts. And I named her Many Blessings because she had five spikes growing off of her. Unfortunately, and they all bloomed great, but unfortunately, one of them was right through the middle. They call that a terminal spike. That's not good for your plant. <laughs> That's what I've been told, but I didn't give up on her. I just let her do her thing. And so what she did was she produced a cakey off the side of the main plant. She's growing another set of leaves with its own roots while she continues to push out new leaves on this one that's supposed to be dying. She has this spike going up right next to where the other terminal spike was. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buds so far. And I'm peeking to see if there's more. She has roots that she is doing really well in the Lekka setup. Look at that loves the moisture and I am very happy that she took to Lekka. Once a week I will change her water out, pour fresh water over all the top of the Lekka, just once a week though. And I make sure now that she is spiking to put her right back where she enjoyed the spot she had before. It's like places saved in the vehicle when you had kids. Remember that? Tag, places saved. And a comrade in arms bought on that Thanksgiving weekend was this one. And we called her, not plant number three, we called her Bunny because she had these long, curly, floppy ears that reminded me of my bunny rabbits that had the long, floppy ears. And also the color. I think she was a gorgeous pink color. And I have a friend named Bunny that she reminded me of. Well... She is doing great. She has, if you can see it, 
a new spike growing right there. And she's got all these new roots growing in the top. Let me lift her up and you can see right off the bat all those three roots. When I spin her around, look at that. That root loves the water. I am really tickled. It sure makes it a lot easier for me to see the roots and go, yes, she's thriving or surviving when they are all in bark. I just couldn't see it. And, and I got, yeah, it was hard. I do have some still in bark, but for the most part, a lot of my phalaenopsises are going right into Lekka when I get the chance to transition. My mama gives me her orchids when she sees that the leaves are wilting and they're getting tired or worn out or dehydrated. Dare we say dehydrated? But she brings them to me and says, here you go. Maybe you can help it or fix it. So I have acquired two in the last week from mom. Obviously, I had to cut the spike right off. Isn't that gorgeous though? But when you cut a spike, you can always put it in a vase and enjoy it for weeks. Weeks they'll last. Aren't those beautiful? So if you notice this, let me show you. If you notice your leaves are getting to be a little wrinkly, a little soft and pliable, that's not good. Not good for an orchid, but it is fixable, okay? So we had to deconstruct, take all of the, the media off around it. I had to snip this morning a bunch of dead roots. Now everywhere that it's black, it, it, it may fail, but it may not. We'll see. But she has been soaking for this morning in a little bit of seaweed water, just like that. So if you find that your plant is dehydrated like this, my suggestion would be to remove the spikes, put them in a vase and enjoy them and take care of those roots. So I will let her soak in this for a couple of hours, then I'll remove her and just let her sit dry in a cup. And tomorrow I'll give her a little bit more and do that back and forth, back and forth until she gets used to more moisture all around her legs legs <laughs> until her little walking legs no until she gets rehydrated and then a week or two we'll check on her if she has gained some strength in those leaves then it might be time for me to pot her up and because the orchids are doing well in Lekka in my setup I will probably take those roots that were get used to being dunked every other day in water and I will put her in Lekka We'll update you as to how she's coming along. What name shall we give her? Our... So I am looking at that beautiful flower and I'm gonna call her Kim. Kim, this will be Kim. Sometimes I wonder as I look into the lens who I am talking to because I know some of you who comment and some who are quiet and love to meet you. If you haven't said hello yet in the comments down below, please shout out a little hello and tell me something about yourself. I would love to know, let's see, your favorite kind of ice cream and your favorite kind of flower. Let me know in the comments down below. I can't eat ice cream anymore. I can do the non-dairy kind, but my favorite kind of ice cream since I was a little girl was Rocky Road ice cream, but it couldn't have the marshmallow swirls. It had to actually have the chunky marshmallows in it. Ooh, yum, my favorite. And to make a milkshake out of that, oh, to die for. And my favorite flower is the Gerbera daisies, pink ones, big and beautiful. Those are my favorites. So I'd love to hear what are your favorites in the comments down below. Let's chat. <laughs>